Yeah, I thought I'll quickly just show you um, how you can turn any sketch or really basic model into a fully fledged render using AI. I know there's a ton of AI programs out there right now. You've got like the Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, all this stuff. Like there's so many, but I found this pretty good one. It's called Prome AI. It's not a sponsor or anything, but I see Mid Journey really struggles to stay within the boundaries of your sketch or rendering. I think this Prome AI does a really good job at staying within the parameters of your basic model and then actually transforming it into a almost believable AI image. I think it seems to be the best at staying within the boundaries, um, unlike all the other programs. So we're going to try it out. So you just go to Google, you search up Prome AI and it takes you to this. And you've got to make an account on it. Um, use a fake email if you want or register. Then once you're registered, it takes you to this site. I haven't looked at all these other things like image variation, erase and replace. I think Photoshop can do most of this, but the most interesting one that I'd be using is sketch rendering. This is pretty easy to use and it completely transforms uh, really basic models and turns them into advanced renders. So these are some basic models I've got out of Rhino. These are from my tutorial site, but they're just basic Rhino shapes, right? So we're gonna open Prome AI. And I think first off, we'll just use a basic one like this. So we'll just drag and drop it in. Now down the bottom here, you've got to set the parameters. So we'll go architecture. And you can choose what style of architecture you want to render it as. So we'll just go like, since it's a skyscraper, we can go down. We'll see a high tech modernism. Then render modes, you can choose how much it stays within the parameters. I found that the best one is using precise. So we'll go with precise and you can use text prompts. Uh, I'm not really sure what we'll need for this one, but we'll just go, this is the same as mid journey prompting, prompting if you're familiar with it. So we'll just go massive skyscraper, large city, vast. Things to avoid, um, you can fill that out. You know, if you don't want it to specifically show something, you just go, things to avoid. So now let's go generate and we'll see what it comes up with. See, this one looks pretty decent. Kind of interpreted the city and a park around it. It's got this kind of weird outline around it. So I think we'll just try one without any prompts and see what it comes up with. And I'll just change this to say futurist. Uh, so these ones are looking all right. You know, you compare that to what you imported was just simple towers and it comes up with you know, this kind of surroundings, the rendering, you can actually use this render because it is showing exactly what you put in and it's added the windows and the glass to it. Obviously on the right hand side, not so much, but you could always quickly just Photoshop in this right hand tower with this left one. And it would actually look really good. So see, once you download it, you get this kind of this quality image. I think you have to pay for it to get a higher quality, but this is kind of usable for just filling up space in a page uh, or Real quick renders. You can pay for it if you want, but I haven't. So maybe let's try a more advanced one. I kind of want to see what happens when we input this. Again, um, I'll keep these parameters the same for now. But you can see this program is really simple and intuitive to use. I know with Mid Journey, it's a bit of a struggle trying to set everything up and get it all laid out, but this makes it pretty easy. You see, I think this looks pretty good. It's really taken just, yeah, this is, does a really good job at staying within the parameters that you input. So if you're in a concept phase for designing, you know, don't need to waste your time with all these concept renders using programs like Corona or, or V-Ray, or it saves a lot of time of you trying to put this into a render and show your concepts. This makes it a lot more streamlined. This also works with hand sketching. If you want to do that, you can see how fast it is. Just drag and drop your image into it put in the prompts or choose your rendering mode and then just press generate. You can see some of them are not so great. So we're gonna try and make this into a Mars tower. So we'll keep it on futuristic. Let's choose this one, let's choose this one that has a lot of green, but this time we're gonna make it Mars, Mars tower, sci-fi. The prompts are going to be a sci-fi Mars tower, desert, avoid grass, green, plants. 
See, we put in these prompts to make it on set on Mars and then sci-fi setting and to avoid greenery and grass, even though our template has greenery in it, we're gonna see what happens. It's a very odd looking concept, but I think with a bit of polishing, you know, you could add in things like 4K, HD render, ultra realistic. We'll chuck those in. Let's add those and see what it comes up with. This made it look a little bit more realistic now. I kind of struggled to stay within those parameters, but I still say this is pretty good. But there we go, that's just a real quick video on showing you a possible AI program that you can just drag your sketch in and make a real believable looking render from it.